On the 11th of this month, the Uganda Wildlife Authority received information that a pride of 11 lions had been killed near Hamkungu Fishing Village in Queen Elizabeth National Park. The reports of the poisoned lions caused a stir with conservationists and the tourism sector and even got international media coverage. Different stakeholders, including the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities and the Association of Uganda Tour Operators, have since come out to condemn the act. <clears throat> the Uganda Wildlife Authority has today revealed that they have managed to trace and question four suspects linked to the poisoning of the lions. To date, four suspects have been identified and they have made statements at Katwe Police Station. They are released on bond as they await conclusion of the investigations. Ua also revealed that they are beefing up their field teams to ensure that similar incidents do not happen again. You know, 2013, when there was the last recruitment of rangers, we have not replaced those who have left, those who have grown old, those who have died, had not been replaced. But we are in the process of recruiting 500 new rangers. On the issue of working with the fishing villages and communities, which by law are allowed to stay within the game parks, the executive director of Uganda Wildlife Authority, Sam Wanda, pointed out that the authority is exploring ways to ensure humans coexist in peace with wild animals. We are working with the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities to see how we can have laws, regulations that would regulate the activities in fishing villages so that we don't have uh, similar occurrences. Uh, in this specific area, there are spec arrangements that are done such that whoever loses gets some level of compensation. And I think that was highlighted sometime. And uh, what is important now is to note that uh, the, the wildlife bill, which is now before Parliament, boldly comes out to address the issue of loss of property. Who has also denied reports that the 11 lions which were killed in Queen Elizabeth National Park had adversely affected Uganda's tourism potential, revealing that Uganda has over 400 lions all over the country that tourists can also see. Tourism to the national parks has increased about 16% in the last two years. We still see this growing in this year, even more than 30% from the number that were posted this year because the environment is good for tourism. The amount of development we're doing in this park on the side of accommodation. The issue of people coexisting with wildlife in game parks has for long been an area of concern, especially in the area surrounding Queen Elizabeth National Park. In the past, it has mostly been the issue of elephants and hippos raiding gardens which would prompt the locals to retaliate. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.